Good. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our first live broadcast. And uh, it's the first day of the month. So for those of my uh, students that are here, I hope you all finished July where you want it to be. Let me uh, take a little quick peek to see who's here. And um, OK. Now, this month, I am celebrating my 27 year anniversary working with uh, network marketers. It has been a life changing experience for me. And I am grateful to say that I have uh, helped and influenced tens of thousands of network marketers around the world. So if you're here for the first time, welcome. Last night, we did a special broadcast where I introduced some of the new features and changes that have taken place on Facebook and LinkedIn that for me is launching a whole new level of training. Now, it's not what works in network marketing, it's what duplicates. You don't need a website, you don't need a blog, you don't need to buy leads, you don't need to advertise. You can literally bring somebody into your business on Monday, and by Wednesday, they're bringing in their friends. And by Friday, they're bringing in their friends. Now, for the last three months, I've been working secretly on something new that generates more nonstop leads that turn immediately into customers, distributors, and sales reps than you can believe, even if you don't like to sell. This is something that will instantaneously position you as a person of influence on both networks so people will reach out to you and ask you about your business. And you're on your way to becoming a leader in your business. So whether you're an old friend, a loyal student, a new student, or an eager entrepreneur that wants to take their business to the next level, this new information will give you an unfair advantage over your competition. This unfair advantage is like handing you a crystal ball. Crystal ball, a crystal ball that will enable you to know in advance who are the best prospects for your business. So as you scroll down a list of people on Facebook, as you scroll down a list of people on LinkedIn, you can categorize people by their agenda and easily pick out the people that you would want to talk to. The green M&Ms represent people that are looking for business. The blue M&Ms represent happy network marketers that would be open to looking at your company. And the yellow M&Ms, the real prize, are experienced network marketers that are actively looking for another business. And one of LinkedIn's newest features enables you to pick out the people that would eagerly take a look at your business. And you can do this anywhere in the world. 
Now, everyone on LinkedIn and Facebook created their profile for a reason. Their photo and cover, plus the information they provide about themselves and their visible daily activity makes it easy to identify the best prospects for your business. And you're all in different businesses. As I just stated, that these are prospects who would be both interested in your business and eager to talk to you. So I said a few minutes ago, the green M&Ms represent business builders, people who want to make extra or full-time income from home. And now because of the economy, increased prices of gas, increased prices in the grocery store, increased prices everywhere, rising inflation, more people than ever before are looking for ways to make extra income. And there is easy to connect with as reaching into that bowl and pulling out a green M&M. &M. The yellow M&Ms are unhappy network marketers looking for another company. And when you bring one of these people into your business, they never come by themselves. They bring people with them. The happy network marketers are open to looking at your business. They understand the, the power of residual income. They love the product that they're involved with, but they just can't see them making enough money to retire. So they're looking for another business. And finally, customers. Someone that would eagerly buy your products once they know about them and could become business builders later after they fall in love with them. If you know in advance by the contents of visible daily activity on someone's profile that they're a perfect prospect for what you're selling and you can very quickly develop a relationship with them before you talk about your business, you're going to sell to more people and build your business faster. Instead of wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your product or get into business with you, we're going to show you simple ways to find perfect prospects and simple ways and means of attracting the people who would want to buy your products or get into business with you on LinkedIn or Facebook before they're contacted by your competitors and they do business with them instead. Now, there are new prospecting and recruiting scripts, strategies, and tactics that are going to work better during the summer than at any other time of the year. And when used correctly, they'll enable you to quadruple the size of your existing network and experience significant rank advancement in August. Additionally, many of the recent changes made by LinkedIn and Facebook have made my strategies and tactics even more effective than ever before. And some of the recent changes have made portions of my training material obsolete because the features that we talked about no longer exist. Adding animated content to your text messages is producing immediate results and is a way to impress your connections and showcase your social networking expertise. A GIF, a moving image, draws extra attention to your messages so people are much likely to answer it faster. Now, this also not only applies to your messages, it applies to what you're posting. The happy birthday strategy is probably one of the most popular and effective strategies I've ever created. And over the last six months, we've proven that the holiday strategy has become just as effective. Now, the frequent use of animated GIFs in your messages will make you stand out from the crowd of other people that your prospects are talking to, makes them smile, and makes them respond to you faster. So these new texting tactics are producing faster enrollments on LinkedIn and Facebook than I have ever seen in 27 years. The birthday strategy was always the top strategy for making connections with people and have people connect with you. Anniversaries fall into the same mode, but now the birthday strategy, whether it's an official birthday like the 4th of July or Flag Day, to an unofficial holiday like National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Posting motivational images that move, same thing, are enabling people to talk faster, move through the entire process quicker. 
and even posting jokes or posting images about what's going on with the economy. It's all the same. And now on LinkedIn, coming up on Wednesday, we have National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Who knew? Let me pop over here. So on Facebook, you want to send a message. Let me bring up an existing message. All right, so I'm going to click on this here. Glenn Nozak is a good friend, chiropractor, and one of uh, my coaching students. And what he's responding to is a new expanded Facebook feature. If I go over here on my home page and we go over and look at stories, Since I put this up, I'm going to be celebrating his birthday. Tonight, however, I'm going to be introducing something new that I just. And here we've got all these people that have seen this, giving you an opportunity to reach out, re engage people. And some of these people I haven't talked to in 10 or 15 years. You want to talk about reconnecting with people. Sarah looked at this six minutes ago. Sarah was a student when she was 20 years old. Following my formula, she added 5,000 people to her business in six months. She's made millions in network marketing. An easy way. Discover. Hello, my friends. I want to wish all of you a happy National Avocado Day. It's a good time to reach out to your prospects. So, wish them a happy. The bottom line for all of you. New strategies. On Wednesday is, now you'd expect this on Facebook. Happy Friendship Day. Happy Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Ice cream, National Ice Cream Day. Now, clearly, this is something that we'd expect to see on on Facebook. Put on LinkedIn. Pop over here. Use the GIF. Now, from time to time, LinkedIn is growing so fast, their GIFs don't work.
And in bootcamp, we're going to show you how to get around this. But the bottom line, and I encourage all of you, if you haven't registered yet for our August boot camp that starts on Thursday, look at all the holidays. the unofficial holidays for the United States. Tomorrow is National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Wednesday is National Watermelon Day. There are over 40 holidays that you're going to be able to take advantage of building your business. First thing, however, that you need to do is you need to be visible on LinkedIn, visible on Facebook, because if people can't see you, they can't see what you're doing, they can't see your posts, so I'm kind of scrolling down a list here, and let me see. And let me unmute uh, Charlie. So good morning, Charlie. You were in our May boot camp. Let's see how you're progressing. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. So uh, your LinkedIn page is... Uh, You've come, a, you've come a long way. Um, how, so how's everything going in your business? I am uh, overwhelmed. I'm going very slowly. Okay. Well, I got I to gotta say, you know, you built up, uh, you know, over 1,100 uh, connections. And, you know, listen, slow is good. You can go as fast as you want or you can go as slow as you want. You know, uh, the, the, the fable that we all grew up with, the race between the hare and the tortoise, it was the, the tortoise that won the race. Right. So that, that's really what, you know, it's coming down to. And uh, so let's just kind of go over a couple of things. Uh, on your profile with your contact information, you could, you got, you, you, I mean, you've got all of this. This looks good. And um, there's a couple of things that you could do. Whoops. That would immediately trigger some action from these 1,100 people that you're already connected to. One of them would be. To use the birthday strategy and change your birthday. Make your birthday August the 10th. And what that's going to do is that's going to trigger birthday wishes from everybody that you're connected to that sees this. So let's look at some of the other things that you're doing. Uh, it looks like you're posting and this is good one of the things that you're going to want to do you're using the motivational messages which is a great idea but you're going to get more re reactions now here's somebody here now do you know who esther is uh i think we've talked okay 
because she's clearly she's looking for work and yet she liked what you just posted and of course this gives you an opportunity to another one that gives you another opportunity to have conversations with people so let's come back over that button now um your settings are a little off because i can see your followers and if i can see your followers it means you've taken off the connect button and now we're looking at you got a follow button oh okay i didn't take it off well <clears throat> surprise surprise linkedin <laughs> came in and did it and i will do that from time to time so let's come down here because it says here so according to this you worked in finance you worked in insurance you had your own insurance agency All right so now let's come down here okay now here is was this your company or were you just working for somebody else <clears throat> that was a combination uh combination uh, Prudential and, and my company. Okay. So one of the things that you want to do is you kind of want to break it apart. Okay. So in other words, if you own your own, if you own your own business, then we need to make that separate. All right. Because that's going to give you all kinds of credibility with people that are in insurance versus yeah. insurance sales. So say you could come up here and let's look for people in insurance. That are looking for an opportunity. And so you've got 22,000 people. Now, some of them are looking for opportunities and some of them are looking to provide information. Right. So you, but it's easy to pick out who's who. So now these are people here that have an insurance background, but are looking for something else to do. We could come back and literally pick out any of the things that, you know, you've done previously, finance. Um, <clears throat> now were you ever in the military no okay so anything that you've done gives you credibility with other people in that field but by the same token when you position yourself correctly people in fields that you would be interested in connecting with for example if we if we come up here and we said all right you know what i want to find someone that has a background as a teacher 
because teachers make the best network marketers. Now, let me see. Did I see something in here? Did you? Okay. Did you do something? Did you ever do any teaching? Uh, I added that because of the one of the things I listened to, I think, the fact that uh, I, I no, teach I people. Yeah, right. No, I, I thought I, I thought you had a teaching experience, but that's okay. Well, I did work in the school district, but uh, that the, the field I was in, when I did the searches, there's not a lot of people that do that anymore. Well, okay. What 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 was that? What what did you do when you were in that? Uh, I was a uh, campus monitor at an alternative school. Okay. And there are not too many alternative schools anymore, no campus monitors. It's like, you know, there's not just too many of those anymore. Okay, but still, it doesn't matter. The fact that you were in that um, in that realm would give you uh, a little credibility with, with people. We want to put down anything. Oh, it's there. It's there. Okay. So, I mean... Uh, that's what I retired from. All right here. Okay. So Canvas monitor behavior. What what is love? Love what what where'd love doctor come from? That's what my principal called me. When situations came up with the students with love issues, she called me. She called me the love doctor. Okay. Uh, I, I love the title, but you know, you might want to probably not gonna. Well, you know, yeah. Know. As as I thought about it, I need to remove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it it. So so now, what is this? This Charlie Miller Company? What is that? Uh, that's just the name I gave my company. Okay. And um, which you know clearly makes sense, but let's talk about your network marketing experience. What, what, uh, how long have you been in network marketing? Uh, quite a while, mostly to, uh, you know, I, I like the products. Uh, mm -hmm. I've done some, something, some things with the, uh, with the business. I've been with a few companies. Uh, had my most success with JDI Life, which doesn't exist anymore. And, uh, so, you know, I've got some. I've gotten customers over the years, uh, more so than distributors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what was the company that you were the most successful in? The one I'm in now. And what company is that? Uh, HB Naturals. Oh, okay. So you're working with uh, Will? Uh, he, he well, yeah. Yeah, I know Will. I've done some of his trainings. Yeah, I know Will. Yes. Okay. So, so where are you in HB Naturals today? Uh, I am uh, an executive head, at, which is one of the the ranks that they promote, and uh, I'm headed towards next rank, which is a bronze. I'm a few a few people away from being a bronze. Okay. And um, how long have you been with the company? A year and a half. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So did you get into this company because you were passionate about the products or get into this company because you wanted to make some side money in addition to, you know, what you're getting? Well, I got in to it because did you know dr john yeah, very well yeah he passed away did you know that no yeah oh wait a minute oh goodness when <sighs> a couple years ago oh now almost two years now unbelievable yeah so i went this and i just so happened got a uh a postcard in the mail from someone that I knew, uh, Chuck Holmes, and the products resonated with me. Once they got in, they resonated with me more than I thought they would, more than the stem cell product that we have. I got good results. I, mean, I had some people get good results from it, but uh, 
I got more from, you know, I got quite a bit more other than just stem cell, but there are, uh, you know, natural organic products, but by, by every category. So mm -hmm. I've gotten good results. They got some customers getting good results, but you know, a lot of them are not interested in doing a business. Okay. So now you said, I mean, you're going slow and I have to tell you, um, you know, I got to tell you, Charlie, I mean, there uh, are people that jump on some of these webinars that have been students of mine going back nine years, 10 years, and they haven't done anywhere near the things that you've done, I guess, primarily because, um, you know, they're not ready. It, it's, it's not anything you know, that's, that's tremendously difficult, uh, you know, as a basketball player, you know, you have to practice to get those the balls in the hoop. It's practice. And this is exactly the same thing. The more you practice, the, the, the better you get at it, the better you get at it, the more points you score, the more points you score, obviously your team wins. So, um, you know, really, and whenever you see somebody that has this little um, bell next to it, you know, you want to check up, check it off so that you'll be notified when these people make posts. You don't want to miss things because that gives you the opportunity to talk to people and make sales. So, slow but sure, turtle wins the race. What would you say is the biggest obstacle uh, facing you right now and really picking, picking it up and getting to bronze using uh, LinkedIn or Facebook? What's holding you back? What do you need to overcome? Well, on Facebook, uh, let me go over there. Some of the stuff I was doing on Facebook, Facebook's kind of changed uh, a little bit. Yes, I'm yes. not, I'm not very, so I have, I, I have less, I have about a hundred people on Facebook. I'm not very social. Uh, if that makes sense. Um, with my life as a whole, I guess, you know, uh -huh. spend time with my wife. We have Friday night, date night and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, neither one of us, uh, I mean, she's on it, but she's not a, she probably do a bit more than I do, but. To me, I'm not social enough for Facebook. Okay, well, you know, that's that, you know that's okay. So let let's focus. Let's focus on LinkedIn. I mean, you've got 1,150 connections, so you're you're certainly. social here or at least you're there's nothing holding you back so what do you need to get to from where you are now what do you need to get to bronze in your business well at this stage of the game i need to get some uh i'm at the suggested number of customers because we're we we have a we, we are we are binary right and based on where our system works I'm at the point where I have the sufficient customers to uh, to maintain the uh, binary to keep me at executive. Now, from my analysis, I need to start getting some people, some business builders, right, to, to uh, get to the next level. And uh, <clears throat> although I've done the birthdays and stuff and other, other things, I've even noticed the. Uh, response i know what you say what you see is what you get some of the response i get the birthday wishes some of the people that have responded in the past because you have the history of the message there uh you know some responded just thank you some respond at all when he, when he has different questions about uh you know uh, how they've been affected by the economy the pandemic things of that nature some engage and some of them are even though they are they are i do i do leads also that's one of the things that at this point I'm doing and I'm getting the same kind of thing which surprises me from professionals is that they're kind of stuck on not wanting the status quo. 
they don't they don't seem to want to do a whole lot either. And uh some of it's some of it's skepticism, some of them is just in just empathy and just things have always been this way. And in the network marketing, it has always been that way. This was used to be a good time for network marketing. Mm -hmm. Um You mentioned your, you know, your buying leads. How much money have you spent on lead purchases this year? I spend about ten dollars a month. I get, I get, I get nickel leads. Okay. How are those working out for you? Uh, same. I'm getting responses. I'm getting people, you know, uh, engaging. I, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I don't uh, because of the age of them. I've learned that qualifying them don't really make it make any difference anymore because they'll respond the way they they think you should respond because they're used to it now they they're they're immune to it so so, so basically we uh have some engage some engagement with them some conversation and uh then they uh you know they they uh, they, they don't follow up we have a short 10 minute video that my up my that my uh plugged it up line came up with which is uh Get good good response from it. just a matter of the the time thing, and uh, I guess with the follow follow ups at this point. Okay, let, 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 let me help you here. First, qualifying people on a social network is critically important. Okay, you can get enough information about somebody off their profile to make. The connection. So you've made the connections. Now the thing is that once you're connected to somebody, you're you're in total control. When I what I mean is, if people don't react to something, you send someone a message, and they write back a short thank you, or you can't getting the conversation started is not difficult. When you know how to do it, okay, and we covered that, you know, in in boot camp, you know, you know, it's in the training. You just haven't either gotten to that point yet, or or you haven't mastered it yet. But you could look at anybody's profile that has accepted your connection, especially people that are looking for opportunities, and people love talking about themselves and so in qualifying someone you want to learn more about them and and so when we're have when we're reaching out to 10 or 15 people every day after we've made that connection now we have to follow up and we have to start conversations so we can start conversations based on we can restart a, a, a conversation we're saying, talking about a holiday. We could restart a conversation around some kind of a motivational post. But it's always about the questions that you ask the other person. And those questions come from the contents of their profile. So you have to review a person's profile. And there are some casual questions you could ask, like, well, you know, what prompted you? to get into, into insurance? What prompted you to, you know, become a teacher? You know, why are you looking for another job? Not what kind of a job are you looking for? Because asking somebody that's looking for a job, what kind of job you're looking for, is not easy for them to answer. They don't know. But if you no. ask me, well, why are you looking for another job? Especially if you've got one now, People react and people respond to those. So it's, you know, you're at the point where, you know, you've got the create part down. Clearly, you've got the connect part down. Now, what you need to work on is the communicate part. Because You want to talk to you can talk to anybody, but you want to talk to the right people. Right. The the faster you can qualify someone, you know, based on you know, once we start talking about people, you want to have an end result in mind. You want to be thinking, 
how would this person fit into my world, into your world? In other words, would this person have an interest in making some extra money? Now, sometimes it's obvious, but there, there are there's an easy two dozen different ways to start conversations revolving around needing more money. An easy one would be, um, let me ask you, Charlie, what is it? What, what's, what is gas going for in your area now? Uh, it's about three nine three ninety six now. I'm in Tallahassee. Right. So I, I uh, if I go to my regular gas station, it's $5. In my is $5? Yeah. Well, in my neighborhood, it's $5. Okay. okay. But, if I, but if I went out to um, Hialeah, which is where my granddaughter lives, uh, we went there on, on Friday and we picked her up. And uh, gas was only uh, $2.99. So, okay. I filled up, so I filled up my car. But but at three dollars a gallon in a twenty gallon tank, it's gonna it costs you sixty bucks. Right. And so that's an easy way to that's one way. There's so many, Charlie, there's so many different ways to engage people. The key is to be engaging the people that would naturally be interested in making some extra money. Now, if you're looking for customers. Obviously, they have to appreciate the product. They have to have an interest in health and wellness. But if they're looking for a business opportunity, they don't have to be so passionate about health and wellness. The thing is, but they have to recognize the importance of health and wellness. And when you show them your business, what they start thinking about, what they're internalizing mentally as you're talking to them, is who do I know that might be interested in this? What 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 is my circle of influence that this would appeal to? If they see the opportunity, they see the opportunity for themselves, they will look further. Now, your job when you're talking to people in the course of talking to them is to, again, educate them in a nice way without being salesy. We want to educate them on some of the nice parts about your business. Number one, you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. When they work with you, they are part of a team, a team of people that are all devoted and eager to help them succeed. And frankly, if they have any previous network marketing experience that's negative, it, we need to dig deeper. We need to find out, well, what companies were you, how long ago was this? Because everything changes. Right. If, if, if you're talking to somebody that was in a business, I mean, you could even go, look at the, the folks in Maluka. Maluka has, only, has been in business for 37 years, but it's only been in the last five years that they've been a social media friendly company. Before that, you know, before that, you had to go to a meeting, you had to do all of this stuff. You don't have to do that anymore. So things change. Social media has changed everything. And so when you're talking to somebody, if they like you and they feel like you're the kind of person, you got to come across as being someone that's successful. You got to come across as somebody that is knowledgeable. And, and with your prior experience doing all these other things, you you reek with credibility. There's some things in your profile that you need to that you need to tweak and change. I I, I would strongly suggest you jump back in the boot camp because we're going to be covering all of these these new things. But the bottom line is every day, every day you could be talking to ten or 15 highly pre-qualified people that you know at the beginning of the conversation have a need 
and would clearly be interested in your business right out of the gate. Now, have you, well, you had your own business, so you've hired people, right? I was just by my was sole, sole proprietor. Right. So if you hired anyone, doesn't matter to do what, you have certain job requirements, job skills that you're looking for to fill that particular job. And so you got to take that same mentality when you're prospecting. You're, you're not just looking for anybody. You're looking for someone that has aspirations to get more than they have now. You're looking for somebody that wants to make maybe enough money to retire, maybe make enough money to quit your job. It's a skill. You, you develop just like shooting hoops. The more you do it, the better you get at it. After a while, you're you're uh, when you've been doing it long enough, your um, the muscles in your arm, your body develops muscle memory, so that uh, you, you walk away from it for twenty years, you know, come back, and you'd probably do a better job shooting hoops than somebody that's never done it. Uh, providing, of course, you know you've got uh, you know no physical ailment, you know that's holding you back. I'm I'm gonna pop up here just for a second and so why are you doing so why are you doing that so you, you kind of say i need to focus on people in the in the, in the, in the areas that i relate that I relate to it's not, necessarily, not, not, not necessarily that okay. that that would be one area okay but then you could look around at some of the top earners in your business for okay. Example, Will used to be a police detective. Right. Okay. So you could go on here and you could go on here. Let's look at all the detectives. They're on LinkedIn. We got 346,000 detectives. Now, if we wanted to focus it down, um, you know, law enforcement is seeing an unbelievable amount of people that are leaving law enforcement. So we got three point eight million people. Well, actually, no. Uh, let's do looking. Looking for detectives that are looking for an opportunity. Got 1,900. Now that's detectives. You could just throw in the word police. There's there are variations of that. Right. You you can pick any category when your profile is properly set up to where you would gain everybody's respect, no matter what they did. Yes, it's easier to make these connections with people that um, clearly um, share some of your experience, but it's not necessary. You're looking for someone that is anxious to make a change and, so, and, and uh, people in the police department, unbelievably great category of people. In fact, if we did this and we specified uh, police, people connected with the police in Seattle or Washington State or Oregon State, uh, uh, California, you go to areas with high crime rates, uh, you see a higher percentage of policemen that are looking for ways. You know, they're, they're, they're quitting. They're leaving the force early 
but that, that, that's just you know one category there's no shortage of people it, it doesn't matter what they do and let me let me let me bring up francisco I started working with Francisco 21, actually now it's 22 years ago. And back when we first started, he was building a prepaid legal business. Two, year, two years ago, he jumped back into network marketing. And at the end of his, at the end of 2021, he jumped in with 2020. Then in 2021, he had he had a team of 17,000 people. In January, those 22,000 people increased to I think it was 38,000. Okay, and in 2021 was 17,000 people. The following month, it went from 17,000 to 38,000 because it duplicates. It duplicates. And he sent me this in June. Now he's, his team has up, gone up to 52,000 people. And he's talking to a network marketer that's had a major agree disagreement with the owner of the company over money. And the main, this guy claims to have over 600,000 people in his organization, and he's looking for something else to do. These are the people that you could be talking to. And if you turn around and look at Francisco's profile, all right? This describes his network marketing business. Everything else here, it's his history, it's his work history. This gives him credibility to be talking to people and he has mastered my scripts, he's mastered the language, that's, what, that's all it is. Francisco has an 80% closing ratio. How do you get an 80? In other words, he's closing eight out of 10 people that he talks to. Right. All right. Now, why is that? Because he'll talk to somebody, learn about them. And as he's learning about them, as they're answering questions, he's qualifying them. He got people dropping off. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't have the attitude, well, you never know, so let me just go for it anyway. No. When he he has become skilled at it enough, so as he's talking to somebody, he can say with certain, no, not what I'm looking for, and stop. So when he gets to the point where he's going to introduce his business, he's closing eight out of 10 because he knows, A, that they had the potential to be good at it, B, They've got the skills necessary to be successful. C, they've got a, a, a natural market, uh, a circle of influence. And they record, and he knows what their network marketing experience is. Sometimes, just by asking somebody, so what do you know about network marketing? Oh, I hate network marketing, blah, blah, blah. Stop. Get rid of them. There's too many people out there you know, for you to be talking to. Once you hone your conversational skills, and that's all it is, it's communicating, asking questions, you, you'll be standing at the, the foul line making foul shots all day long. You know, uh, 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 basketball players that excel at three-pointers. How do they do that? They practice. They practice. Right. they practice. This is exactly the same thing. The more you practice, the better you get at it. The more you practice, uh, the higher your closing ratio is going to be. But you have to be very, very selective on who you're talking to. Example, 
if you went to the market today because you wanted to make a salad tonight and you're looking for a ripe tomato. So you're looking for something that's red, that's approaching the soft So I mean, can you pick out the difference between a tomato that you could put in a salad tonight and one that you need four or five days to ripen? Yeah. There you go, same thing, same thing. I mean, you could pick one up and you could just hold it in your hand and you could tell it's exactly the same thing. You're looking for that tomato that you can put in your salad tonight. That doesn't mean that you're going to jump into your business tonight. But the more selective you are about who you show the business to, the better your search results are going to be, uh, the better your conversations are going to be, and the faster your business is going to grow. Uh, Charlie, it was a, a it was a delightful talking to you. Um, I'm going to suggest to all of you, I'm I'm going to be introducing some new things in this upcoming boot camp that's going to start on Thursday, and uh, we have some extra. In, in fact, uh, on we're changing the format of all of our training material. I'm moving to a totally different platform. So by the time, if for those of you that are registered for bootcamp already, on Thursday, you're gonna notice a different layout. You're gonna notice different material. And uh, next month, oh my God, this new platform is gonna make it easier for everybody to get the information they need. We've got amazing examples that will step everybody through the process. So if you haven't registered, um, you have the opportunity to take your business to a whole new level. We'll talk more about this at four. We'll talk more about this at, uh, 10 o'clock tonight. I hope to see all of you in boot camp.